Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. This is John Zimmerman, and this is part five of my ride with Stefan Bear, traffic advisor for the city of Harlem in the Netherlands. He was visiting Austin, Texas a few weeks back, and we are just finishing up our tour of the Miller community, also pronounced Mueller, <laughs> in Austin, Texas. It used to be our airport, and in fact, here we are at Airport Boulevard, a big nasty strode that we're gonna try to make our way across. You'll notice we do have have a nice protected bikeway here. But yeah, this is a nasty, nasty strode that needs to get redesigned and it will eventually. So uh, Stefan and I are going to be uh, chatting a little bit about this and then making our way across and into the neighborhood and then making our way over to the transit oriented development at the Martin Luther King Jr. transit stop. Okay, let's pick it up also, with Stefan. I want to point out this is the first time I've ever seen the use of bicycle signals in the United States. In California, I've never seen bicycle symbols put in place yet. So, California, get it together, Texas is beating you. Oh, no right turn on a red. Hey, how nice. That means we're, it's us. I feel like this is the bicycle equivalent of an automatic car <laughs> because it's like it's the, the, the gears are almost adjusting themselves based on how fast I'm driving. Yeah. It's like a go-kart almost. Okay, this is a nice quiet area for us to chat. Um, so, thoughts? You just saw the Miller development. General, oh, uh, version 1.0 big improvement, 2.0 even better. Really looking forward to see what they come up in 3.0. Uh, I think uh, in terms of new urbanist developments and promoting walkability in American suburbs, that's probably almost as good as you're gonna get. So I would give them big kudos. It's good stuff and we can see in the distance there, more of those first high rises, or not high rises, but the mid rises. Mid -rises yeah. The business area, central business district area that we were in in the but beginning. The five over ones, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Good stuff. <laughs> so this is just a, a really good example too of, you know, you have a development where the platting and all of the entitlements were done at a certain point where the city could work with them to, to put in that sort of infrastructure. And then we have to blend into the old stuff, which is where we're at here. But we've got brand new buildings up here that are not gonna do that. They're just gonna keep this, probably just because it was simple enough to do it. And it wasn't all that complicated. But uh, I don't know if you noticed when we were on that red section back there, that was exactly what you were talking about. Um, was the, you know, the level was brought up. Uh -huh. We had plantings to yeah. our right yeah. and they had it so the channelization of the water, you know, was able to, to feed it. So yeah, so yeah. I'm seeing very good progress. And here's some, here's some better plantings here too. Again, getting away from the, the grass. Cutter, yeah. Are we going straight across? We are, yeah. Do you want to see our version of the Utrecht uh, bike garage? Oh yeah. Cool. So again, more transit oriented development, more housing. This is the transit station here. Here it is. Where? 
our part, our, our bike garage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd probably put it on par with the bike parking at Flissinga. It's a little village <laughs> in the southwest, but I mean, <laughs> you gotta start somewhere, right? Yeah. Why is this a roundabout? That's silly. This is silly. That's silly. It's actually, um, actually facilitates the, uh, the buses turning around. Oh, uh, okay, all They right. come in, they feed this way, then they, they do the turnaround, and then they pick up right here on this curb, right over here. Uh, okay, I take it back. It is not silly. Yeah. All right, we're gonna zigzag Ooh. our way across these train tracks. I have forgotten about Texas humidity. Oh, yes. So this is a nice little connection here. Again, it's, it's a few years old, so they didn't do the, the dual colors. Um, had this been built another year later, then this would have been red and that would have been just normal gray. Uh, we've got a nice community garden right here. Do you, do you know why they are such a big fan of concrete here and not say asphalt? Or the you would have to ask somebody that okay. you know, knows that kind of stuff. I do not. Okay. Because there's, um, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, I'm just curious. Because I, I don't see I, concrete too often. Yeah. It could be that the concrete just lasts a lot longer, yeah. given the root systems and given the challenges of our um, soil and, and all that. But again, I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm totally, uh, you know, speculating at this point, so, yeah. Yeah, she's beating us on e-bikes, that's yeah. embarrassing. Well, I don't have an e-bike Yeah, either. okay, she's yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're looping around following her. Where'd she go? <laughs> I was teasing you. <laughs> uh, I, this is a very well thought out loop. I like this. Very good, very, very good. And you notice that we have the flashing lights so they know that we're here. Yeah, that's automatic, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wait, no, or did she press it? No, there's nothing to press. Oh. But because she hit the sensor a little earlier, it started flashing a little earlier, but uh, ah, yeah. That was nice of her. Now we get up to some newer sections. We also see connectivity of the pathway to the cul-de-sac neighborhoods here. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little cul-de-sac connector here. Yeah. We've got our terracotta path. Yeah. Yeah, see, this Colored. is like classic. This is fantastic. We have yeah. the cycle path and the sidewalk is just a teeny bit on its own. Yep. Uh, this is amazing. This is really, you can't really do better than this. This is great. Here, I'll get you on camera. Say that again. I, I have nothing to complain about. This is perfect. <laughs> oh, wait, someone's walking on the cycle path. I think about <laughs> That's okay. We don't mind. <laughs> you were so close. And, and you look at, you know, the, the treatments too with uh, some of the natural plantings here. Yeah. A fair number of them trying to decrease the amount of grass. Yeah, I, I mean, so. it, it, maybe this is like more natural wild grass because it doesn't look as manicured. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Yeah, these tall grasses, these are more along the lines with what we would normally see. Yeah. But a lot of this is just wild, wild stuff. Yeah, so Concord, um, there's a place called the Iron Horse Trail in the Bay Area, mm -hmm. where from, that, that's the, I, I, took a, I took a path similar to this between Walnut Creek and Concord, where 90% of it was on something like this, and it was my yeah. favorite part of the day was, well, I just love that 
I got a lot of some beauty in my life before yeah. going to work and then after. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, and we've got another crossing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm like, still not clear on the priority here. Well, and, uh, and this, um, on on this particular one, they don't have uh, the flashers on that one. So, yeah. Um, yeah. On that, whether we are supposed to have priority or not, I don't worry about. It. I always yeah. assume I have priority. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> and the best part of me. Yeah. And fortunately. Uh, typically, that's the behavior that we're seeing with motorists at that crossing now, so which is yeah. pretty good. I'm very encouraged to see that. So another, since you're a, now a municipal employee working for the city, you'll appreciate the fact that, so we're now on a natural surface trail going through a parkland area. Yeah. And so this is technically considered Yes. So this is technically considered park a park facility. Yeah. A park trail. So it's not part of the inventory or yeah. the responsibility for maintenance of the public works department. Yeah. Which handles anything that's paved that's off street. Yeah. So yeah. It's one of those interesting things where it's not in the uh, it's not in uh, the street right of way, yeah, and it's not paved, so it's considered a park amenity, not yeah. you know part of the. Yeah. Uh, yeah and the thing is, we have thing, these so. two where uh, you know if it's in a park, you'll see more paths like this and the other ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's... Yeah. No, I've ridden on many of them. Yeah. Like or you know the um, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of. Um, the giant park in Amsterdam. Um, uh, Vondel Park. Vondel Park, for yeah. instance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like, that was the joke when uh, I was riding with Jason, is he took me to like five or six other parks other than Vondel Park, and I had ridden Vondel Park earlier yeah, in the day. Vondel Park, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was a park to park to park. Yeah. And uh, we talked about that. He's like, yeah, I would much rather ride through the freaking park than over on the street. Yeah. I mean, so that, that if I have to go to something on the street, that's fine. But yeah, my least favorite part was the final 10% where I would actually have to get on the sidewalk. Yeah. Or ride in the bike buffer lane. Yeah. To the five lane road. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm back. All right, Stefan. I don't know if I'm going to keep filming uh, for very much longer. So I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh, in case we don't pull the camera out again, uh, we just finished up uh, in the community of, of Miller, Mueller, and uh, we just finished up on the Boggy Creek Trail here, which is a really critical connector to the transit station, the MLK Junior Transit Station. Uh, I've had you out here for a couple of hours. You're, you're parched, you're <laughs> chugging down the water. Yeah. Uh, what do we, Subscribe what do we, to Act the Towns. There you go. Uh, what, what do you think about all this stuff here in Austin, Texas? I think I think this is the perfect counter example to if somebody's arguing that the situation in North America is hopeless and there's no way to make it better. I would just say come out here to Austin, Texas, see what they've been doing because if they can do it here, they can do it anywhere. And I've seen so much that has made me optimistic. Even this little section we were on with the park trail, yeah. you know, not every bike path needs to be asphalted or cemented. If your path runs through a trail, that's a great opportunity to offer some beauty on the community and also saves the city money. So. I'm loving all the creativity I'm seeing uh, in Austin, and I'm really excited to come back again in the future. It's gonna keep getting better. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed part five, and in fact, the entire series of my ride with Stefan Bear here in Austin, Texas during his recent visit. Uh, hey, and if you did, hey, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you're not already subscribed to Stefan's channel, Build the Lanes, 
please pop on over there and do that as well. And if you're enjoying this content here on the Active Towns channel, please consider supporting my efforts. It's super easy to do. You can just click on the YouTube Super Thanks right here on the YouTube platform, as well as becoming an Active Towns ambassador by making a monthly contribution via Patreon. And by the way, Patreon supporters do get early and ad-free access to all this content. Uh, and you can also make a donation to the nonprofit as well as buying things from the Active Town store, in including like the water bottle that uh, Stefan was using on this particular ride. Hey, every little bit helps. It adds up and is much appreciated. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.